I had just walked into my hotel room and KJ, my manager, Keith Johnson, called me. He said, yo, uh, you got you to gotta, you gotta come back to the clubhouse and pack your stuff. I think you're going to the, the show tomorrow. Baseball runs deep in Troy Scribner's family. The love of the game has been instilled in his heart from a very young age. His determination has brought him great success, both on and off the field. So I always played sports in general, and I always loved all of them a lot, and I loved competing. But baseball was always, I think I knew early on that I was always a little bit better at baseball than I was at soccer and basketball. But baseball was more of an opportunity than the other sports. Baseball was always my game. Um, <clears throat> they took to it like, you know, like you wouldn't believe, you know, Little League and stuff. And we just made it fun. We played in the backyard, we played Little League. Troy's older brother, Evan, is also a pitcher. He was most recently seen pitching for the Seattle Mariners. In the sixth, the one-two pitch, swing and a miss. Although there might be six years between them, Evan has always tried to lead by example. Well, I'm not really going to tell him or, you know, explain to him certain paths and ways to do things because I feel like baseball is one of those things where you have to figure it out on your own and you can't follow the same path that I followed, even though he kind of did almost. <laughs> When I'm in high school and I see my brother playing college ball, you know, my brother can do it, I can do it. Troy was right. As he excelled on the field in high school, he attracted the attention of college coaches. He was able to get a scholarship to a small D1 school in Connecticut. He was a great kid with great skills, incredibly undersized and underdeveloped physically. He was about 160 pounds, 6'1", as a freshman, had literally never touched a weight in his life and he looked like it. He was really like a newborn giraffe is the way I would describe Troy. When Troy got to Sacred Heart, he transformed himself. He worked tirelessly so that he would be the best. His hard work paid off. Strong battery today for the Pioneers. Scribner, the 2-2. Swing and a miss. And the ball game is over. Fourth strikeout for Scribner, and it caps off a complete game win for the Sacred Heart Pioneers. He wanted the ball in the big spot. He loved being the big game pitcher, um, and he thrived in the big moment. In the playoffs, two years in a row, I mean, it, 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 he was so consistent and so locked in. He literally delivered an unbelievable performance every single outing. He's the most consistent guy. Every time he went out, he was the best Troy Scribner he could be. Valuable player is Sacred Hearts, Troy Scribner. Troy had one of the greatest careers in Sacred Heart history. He walked away with two NEC championships, two all-conference selections, and a tournament MVP. Troy was signed to a professional contract with the Houston Astros, where he would start his professional career. Scribner comes set, and the pitch, that swung on and popped up. This might do it. Scribner going over, so is the catcher, Bamboom. Bamboom makes the catch. It's a two-hit shutout for Troy Scribner. What a performance. Over the next four years, Troy was traded to the Los Angeles Angels organization, where he made it to AAA. In the summer of 2017, Troy was so close to achieving his lifelong dream, he could practically taste it. Eight strikeouts on his night. Season high. I had just walked into my hotel room and KJ, my manager, Keith Johnson, called me. He said, yo, uh, you got you to gotta, you gotta come back to the clubhouse and pack your stuff. I think you're going to the, the show tomorrow. And it, it was so fun to like be able to hang up the phone and call my dad. After all the years of hard work and dedication, Troy's lifelong dream had finally come true. He was now a Major League Baseball player. It's absolutely monumental. Uh, it's often spinning so quickly that... Um, it just happens. It's a blur. And that blur was Troy's big moment. There's that good slow curve, 71 mile an hour curveball. Picks up his first major league punch out. After pitching three innings in relief, Troy got the win on his major league debut. I remember walking out the dugout and I I like turned around and I was like, oh my God, I got the win to my family. It was cool that it was my first outing and then it ended up being a win too. And not a lot of people get to, get to do that their first, their first time pitching. It was sort of a validation that if you do all the right things as a person, as a player, 
that the cream will rise to the top. And to have two kids that made it all the way to the major leagues? No, never, never, ever, ever thought. It gives us cred. It gives us that uh, ability to stick our chest out and say, yes, one of ours has made it to the top. He is the pioneer. He led the way. As Troy tries to continue his major league career, Sacred Heart Nation is behind him every step of the way. Reporting for The Pulse, this is James Tobble and Danny Leah.